I know that it was established by Ho Chi Minh in December 1944, uh, who gave the leadership to uh, General Bao Nguyen Sa, uh, but it was first established as a small propaganda unit, the objective of which was to rally people against the Japanese and the French who had occupied the country. Uh, after unsuccessful discussions with the French, uh, the first Indochina war broke out in, uh, in 1946, but the Vietnam's uh, um, People's Army was still too weak to drive out the French, but however, with the help of the Soviet Union and then the People's Republic of China, uh, in, uh, since 1950, uh, the army was able to also defeat the French. However, peace did not come to Indochina and the Vietnam War broke out, but uh, also again under the leadership of Wang Nguyen Zap, the army was capable of also driving out Americans from Vietnam and unifying the country and of course through that establishing also the Socialist Republic of Vietnam in 1976. However, peace did not come to Indochina and uh, again uh, the People's Army had to uh, fight in Cambodia and also a short war with China in 1979. Uh, until 1987, the um, army had about 1.2 million people or uh, soldiers uh, belonging to one of the biggest armies in uh, Southeast Asia. However, currently the army now has about 500,000 uh, regular uh, let's say, soldiers with uh, a lot of number uh, of, of reserves. One of the uh, outstanding features really is that uh, the Vietnamese army was capable throughout its history to drive out armies that were much stronger uh, than itself, that is the French, uh, the Americans, uh, it also fought China several times, uh, always being capable of let's say, uh, defending the, uh, the independence of Vietnam. Um, currently, I think one of the, so it is an army with a long history and lots of successes. Um, currently also it is now working on modernization uh, of its capabilities, especially um, as Dr. Gerstel already mentioned, with the emphasis on uh, building up the Navy. So in that sense, uh, the Vietnam's uh, People's Army has been cooperating with quite a lot of um, uh, international actors, so, uh, Russia, uh, Japan, India, the United States, but even also China. Uh, on, on uh, um, building up its military capabilities and all, all kinds of navy exercises. After all, it was Ho Chi Minh who uh, established uh, the, the, the Vietnamese uh, army in 1944, that is, he stood at the very beginning of uh, its institution and uh, of course uh, the army fought for Ho Chi Minh's objectives, that is, for uh, unified uh, independent Vietnam. Therefore, uh, we can say that the army really are uh, Hankel's or Ho's soldiers because they fought for his cause and also for the cause of the Vietnamese people, and that is for, um, uh, let's say, sovereignty, integrity, and independence.